What's going on YouTube? This is your man Clever Thumbs and I'm back with another Tiny Tina's Wonderlands video. This is actually going to be the first build video on the channel for this uh, game. So if you guys are new here, definitely smash that like button, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And let's get right into it. So as you guys did see in the intro, this build is insanely good. I really like it. I'm using the Spell Shot and Stable Mancer is what we're using here. But... Let's actually go straight into the hero points and uh, let's get right into it. So I've basically invested all of my points Shall into strength. So I got 48 out of 48, which is going to give you that 48% basically crit damage. Um, I invested 40 points into 60% critical hit chance. And then the remaining I put into the wisdom, which is going to give you that 33 out of 40 and that's at 46 percent status damage now you guys might fluctuate a little bit depending on your myth rank i'm not that high in my myth rank i'm only 195 i've seen people way higher than me but let's get right into it so my skill tree is actually going to be like i said i'm maining the spell shot my stable mancer is my secondary and i am using ambi hextrius which you know, some people aren't too big of, fond of, or fond of, but it is what it is. I love it. First time using it. I came from a Spore Warden Berserker, but this build is extremely good. You're going to want to put three into Spell Sniper. Now, this is just me. I'm just showing you what, what I got. You guys could always, you know, tune it up to your play style and how you like it. But I got three into Spell Sniper, which is going to give you that spill crit hit chance. I got Magic Bullets. I got that maxed out and I also have three on my class mod so that's going to give me six which is going to give me that 90% of my spell damage is going to be converted into gun damage. I have prestidigitation and that's just for reload speed that was just to get me further down the tree. Um, that's going to give me 32% reload speed. Moving on up just warming up this is going to give me fire rate per every stack I'm able to get up to eight stacks I'll show you why. But glass cannon is going to be something you guys are going to want to use as well. It's going to give you spell damage. And that is basically uh, whenever you don't have your ward, your shield, you're going to have extra spell damage. Moving on down to the high thread count. This is going to increase your spell weaving stacks all the way up to 8. And uh, you're going to see why this is extremely good here with my weapons and stuff. Imbued weapon is always great. I maxed that out 5 out of 5. That's going to give me bonus damage uh, for a duration of 8 seconds. Basically every time I cast a spell, my guns deal bonus damage of that spell's element for a duration. Moving on down to the skill tree, we got Double Knot, which is a must basically. You want a lot of gun damage, which is going to give you uh, spell damage, which is going to help, you know, vice versa. So that's basically what we're doing here. We're also investing into status. We're going to get right into that here shortly. Uh, so double knot maxed out. One slot, one kill. Got that one out of one. It's going to give you increased gun damage per stack of spell weaving. So basically eight stacks, eight times four. You could do the math right there, 32. So I got a lot of gun damage. Sever the thread. Gun, gun critical hits have a chance to instantly reset all spell cooldowns. Now, this is a chance of 15%, and the cooldown is 5 seconds, and 15% on a pistol fully automatic is nothing, basically. So you're always going to, every 5 seconds, if you don't have your skills, you're going to get your skills. Now, that's pretty much it for the spell shot. It's how I have it fine-tuned. Like I said, you guys can always switch it up to whatever you want, but I am using this for the two spells. Moving on to the Stable Mancer. Stable Mancer, my class mod, actually gives me plus two on the arsenal. So I actually have seven. Excuse me. And that seven is actually going to give me that 21% melee spell and gun damage. So you guys already know what time it is. It is damage time. Moving on to the second uh, point that I went into would be the haste. And I only put one here. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, I could have put two here, but I just put one just to unlock it. I mean, it's not going to do much, but at the same time, I already have a lot of movement speed and stuff like that. So it's just going to add, slowly add more to it. So potent poisons, you definitely want this because the way I'm running this, it's a status effect damage build with gun damage. 
and you of course your spells are going to help out as well so your companion your little pixie fairies that we're going to be talking about here shortly that's all going to uh, be beneficiaried from this moving on to exploiting uh, exploit their weakness this is basically going to give you damage increase and uh, basically whenever the fate maker applies a status effect to an enemy the affected enemy takes increased damage from all sources for its duration this effect can stack per unique status effect so you guys can see what's going on there already we're going to be talking about all my status here shortly swift death I only put one point here like I said you guys could have put your two points here two points here you could have put two points over here it doesn't matter like you guys can put it wherever you want I put swift death I just put one basically all it's going to do is the faster they move the greater these bonuses and that is uh, the increased damage though that I'm going to be getting you skip all this now this is what's going to make the build extremely good on top of how good it already is contagion now not a lot of people are talking about this contagion whenever the fate maker applies a status effect there is a chance it spreads to nearby enemies if no enemies are nearby apply a different random status effect to the initial enemy instead the current effect that I have on three out of three the spread chance is actually 24% the new status effect damage that's going to be applied if there's no enemies nearby it's going to reapply a different status effect so if I'm using a poison and there's nobody nearby to transfer the effect um, it's basically going to put like uh, dark magic or frost or a different status effect and it's going to be 50% of that applied status effect damage so it's going to be really good so remember this this is basically how I have it all set up. The spell shot with the Stablemancer. Now let's break down my actual build. Alright, so moving on to my loadout, my guns. I have the Glittering Fear Knot of the Smith. Every time I reload, it's going to throw a Pixie Companion. It's going to shoot enemies before exploding. And those bullets are actually going to be elemental with the Poison. So that's going to be my first status effect. So I'm going to shoot them with this, I'm going to throw out some pixies, I'm going to throw out three pixies and I'm going to switch over to my glittering liquid cooling of impatience. This is a volatile, it's a 824 times 2 it's crucial that you get the times 2 you can get the regular one, it's not going to be as hard hitting as this because you're shooting two bullets instead of one. This one does have a 5.3 zoom that I have, I have a different one that has no scope on it but this is the one that I'm using right now. I have Glittering Nightshade of the Peak. This is a really good SMG. If you guys uh, don't know about this, definitely get your hands on one of these. It doesn't have to be glittering. It just has to be a Nightshade of the Peak. And preferably Volatile would be the best bet. This is a 98 times 4 It's a SMG with the mag size of 18. I have Glittering. Like I said, Glittering is actually on Spellcast. Increase Elemental Damage by 20% for 5 seconds. Uh, I forgot to say that part. Sorry. Then you have this right here, which is going to be a want not of the champion volatile. Basically, whenever you throw weapons, explodes on impacts and morphs into a multi-headed Hydra companion shooting at enemies for a duration. You can actually send out six of these bad boys, these three-headed bees, and you can send out uh, three of these pixies. So if you do it all right, requires a little bit of work, but if you do it all right, you're going to have poison and frost damage. Moving on to my melee weapon, this is just a jacketed goblin pickaxe or the crusher, nothing too crazy. I just have this for the jacketed on spellcast, increased gun damage by 30% for 10 seconds. So you guys can see that just from my skills and my uh, hero points that I already have a lot of stuff invested into damage. Now my guns and my enchanteds are actually going to give me way more. Moving on to the rings, the rings where I actually have the focus mood ring of the foul fiend. I have two of these, same exact. Uh, it's going to give me that gun damage of 15%, that 12.5 pistol crit hit damage because these are pistols. I got an SMG, and that's another pistol. So <clears throat> it's going to increase the crit hit damage and the magazine size. And it says on the bottom, while ward is not full, basically while your shield is not full, effects are increased. And since I'm running glass cannon, I'm not going to be getting my uh, ward back, my shield. Then this is actually going to work out perfect. So I'm actually going to have 20% pistol magazine size plus the other 20%. That's 40% pistol magazine size. And this is basically 12 times 4. It's 48.5 plus 2. So it's about 50% critical hit damage right there. More that you're going to get when you have no shield. Moving on to the desperate. 
cursed wit this is actually going to be the shield that i'm running volatile the enchantment on it is the enchanted is when health is below 50 percent it regenerates five percent maximum health per second and it gains 30 percent damage dealt so basically when i have less than 50 percent i'm gonna heal up to 50 percent slowly by five percent and i'm gonna have that 30 percent damage dealt increased damage so you guys can see there's just damage on damage on damage now don't forget that this is saying that while ward is depleted you also gain 17 percent damage reduction and you gain 100 percent increased damage dealt to nearby enemies do not get mistaken this 100 percent increased damage does not mean immediately it's kind of like a radius thing uh so basically picture that the enemy the closer you are to it the more damage you're going to deal up to 100 percent if you're you know so and so meters away from it you're going to get so and so damage so the closer you get the closer you're getting to that full 100 percent increased damage if you're literally not in front of them you're not getting that 100 percent is what i'm saying now this also gives you 15 percent chance to reflect bullets and arrows while warded that's just a small percentage you never know when it's going to help now for the melee i actually wanted to say that i don't have it on me but the frying pan the frying pan is actually really good just to have holstered there's a holster talent i believe on it uh if i'm not mistaken you can quote me wrong in the comment section below but we're going to move on to the class mod it's that class mod i was telling you about that gives me that plus three and that plus two this is the spells ward smart armor of the stalwart lance it's volatile so it's extremely good it's top tier it's giving me stabomancer power by almost 40 percent and spell shot power by almost 20 <clears> percent <throat> 35.1% gun damage I am getting along with 42.2% gun critical hit chance. I also have an outstanding 21.1 all damage dealt. And if you read the very bottom, it says total critical hit chance is reduced by 50%, but critical hit damage is increased by 50. That is okay because we already have a lot of crit chance and crit damage, so we are able to sacrifice some of that. Moving on to the necklace, the necklace is actually the infused Thurge of Adventure. It's going to give me frost damage by 40%, spell shot power by 33.9%. I'm also going to get more uh, all damage dealt by another 13.1%, and my loot luck is going to be 20.4%. If you guys do have all your lucky dice, this is going to be extremely beneficiary to your build. It's going to help you out a lot, and hopefully you get all these gray volatile pieces moving on to my spells i do have the chaotic burgeoning concentrated magic barrage this enchantment says on spell cast increase damage dealt by 15 percent for 10 seconds so you guys can already see that there's that you also have uh increased damage by 100 percent there you got increased damage on your pistol on spell cast increased damage and uh, elemental damage increase on your guns. And to put the cherry on top, you do have the Volatile Furious Buff Meister. Now, some people are saying that this is broken. Uh, it's not working as intended, whatnot. But I actually seen plenty of other builds online that completely shred this build like nothing. Like it's not even existent. Like this is just a low tier build. And there's nothing broken about that and that's just more powerful so i don't see an issue that's just my opinion write down what you feel like in the comment section below but what i'm trying to say is that if it was really broken broken there would have been a hot fix by now there's already been two hot fixes for two different things uh, it's just my opinion you know i'm not trying to stir up the pot here but this is a great community so let's keep it that way so anyways the furious buff meister on the right hand side along with enchanted of spell shot so after casting a spell increase gun damage by 20 percent and fire rate by 30 percent for a short duration so you guys can see i'm going to be getting more gun damage on top of the spell damage that i already have that's giving me more gun damage if you guys aren't familiar with zap and pew down there as we move down it says that zap and pew if you guys aren't familiar there's a chart somewhere um, maybe I'll post a link or something like that to it. But Zap 
actually gives you 80% more spell damage. You guys need to pay attention to that because there's different things that say different stuff like Zapping Pew, I got Zapping Pew, Zapping Kachow, Bonk, like all those are different. Kachow is melee, uh, Bonk, no wait, I gotta pull up the chart, don't quote me under that. But anyways, for this one, you want Zapping Pew, Pew's gonna give you gun, a bunch of gun stuff, uh, rate of fire, handling, believe accuracy, a uh, bunch of good stuff, there's a lot of stuff that it gives you reload I believe bunch of stuff it's like six things maybe five or six things that you get off pew that's going to benefit your gun extremely it's not going to make or break the build but this is definitely going to help you out way more than you already need because this build is already destroying so that's basically it for the build um i might drop a little bit of gameplay here at the end but if you guys do stick around don't forget to smash that like button for the video. It's going to help me out tremendously. Let's get this community and the channel growing. And let's not stop now. This is your man Clever Thumbs. And I'm signing out guys. Hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Really quick guys. I just want to tell you that you can get the 5th status out of this. By running the body ruin instead of the curse way. The body ruin is going to give you that 20% bonus fire damage for a short duration. As well as 15% health on kill. And then I also switched my pickaxe over from jacketed to chilling. Which is going to give me that extra frost damage by 30%. And as you guys can see you got poison. You got frost. You also have the fire after the kill. You have lightning. And you have dark magic. So just stick around and enjoy.
battle is not yet over. I'll not suffer the likes of you. I feel magical. Magic for us! <laughs> 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 